to have more than one employee on the register at the same time, you need to keep track of who's finishing the sale and getting commission for it. So we already have one employee signed in down here. Employee POS is on the register. And if they make a sale, they would hit this sale button and it would be registered under their name. If there's another employee also on the register, they just need to hit one of the unlock buttons down there. and sign in and now another employee is listed down here so when they make a sale if they click this F10 sale button the sale will be logged under this person's name and if they click this F10 sale button is how the sale will be registered under the other employee to keep the stats correct and make sure the commission goes to the right employee to reprint a receipt you need to search the customer who you made the sale under and then down here it shows their sales history and tanning history and you just make sure you have sales history selected and you can double click a recent purchase they made and the box will pop up asking you if you want to reprint the receipt and if you hit yes it will print out the receipt. The tan line is something you can send customers to if the bed they want it to go on is currently in use. I currently have someone in the tan line in my system and you can tell because the bottom is all red here and it says equipment is now available and the tan line button is lit up. If no one was in the tan line, this would be grayed out. So we can click on this tan line button and we can see here's a customer who is waiting to go in my bronze bed and rooms 12 and 9 are now available. They were dirty when I processed the sale. So now that those are available, I can process the customer. You would just select the person and you pick the room they want to go to and you would just hit process customer. That would send time back to the timer or if you reverse the sale, you can reverse it if they didn't want to wait in the tan line. To put someone in the tan line, you would just find the customer that wants to go tanning, hit the tan button, and this shows only available beds. Now if you hit all equipment, it will show every bed and send them to the tan line. You just choose the bed, put in the number of minutes they want to go. And now this button here, instead of tan, it says send to tan line. So you click that. And now when I process this sale, he was just put into the tan line. You can see up here, here's the customer I just put. He's waiting for one of these beds to clear up so he can go. He actually needs to wait for the person ahead of him to go tanning because he is next in the tan line. Under the miscellaneous button here, you have the option to refund sales and void sales. To do a refund, you just click refund sale, put in your password to make sure you have access to do a refund, and then it will show the recent transactions that you're allowed to refund here. Pretty much the same thing with void a sale. You just hit miscellaneous void sale, put in your password, and here are the recent transactions that were allowed to void. Here's one where he had to pay a membership fee and he paid cash. So say I wanted to avoid this sale for whatever reason, you would just hit void transaction. It warns you that it's not reversible and you're going to avoid it. You hit yes and now it's been avoided. That amount would have been taken out of your reports like it won't show that it was revenue and that would have been removed off his account here. You see it's still listed there but there's a big voided in front of it. E-Link is something you can use to talk to other employees through Sunlink. It's basically like an email through Sunlink. You click on the E-Link button up here to sign into it. If you're clocked in, you just double click your name here and put in your password, or you can sign in if you're not clocked in. So I sign in here, and this is what it looks like. It's basically just an internal email that you can send to only other employees, and they can only check it when they sign into Sunlink they click on the e-link button and it will show the message you sent them and they can reply to it, forward it, make a new message and send it to you or create a new message and send it to anyone. You just hit the new button, click to, here's a list of all the employees and you can just choose who you want to send it to, create your message and send it and then when they sign in they just need to click on the e-link folder and then it will show them the messages that they have. The count drop process in Sunlink happens when you close Sunlink by hitting the X in the right hand corner or click this count drop button here. You get the options to close the drawer that you've been working on. Count means you will count the money that's in the drawer. A lot of times it tells you to leave the starting balance you have set for the next person and it assumes you're going to take out everything over the starting balance and enter the figures in Sunlink. Drop 
means you're going to just leave the starting balance, take out everything over the starting balance, deposit it away, and it assumes you're going to count it later and enter the figures in some link later. And ignore, you would hit ignore if you just want to leave the drawer open, and the next person will just continue working on the drawer that you've started. For this example, I will hit count, choose the employee who's doing this, put in their password, and here you put in all the payment types you've accepted and your totals. You can hit the calculator here to insert it this way. You just type how many of each bills you have and it will add it up for you. Or you can just click the amount here and type in the amount that you have. For this I'll just do say I just had cash payments for the day of my, and my drawer comes out to a total of $250. My starting amount is set to $150 in store parameters. That's why the $150 is here. You can change it to whatever you want. So it assumes I'm leaving 150 out of the 250. So basically, I'm $100 over my starting balance. So I, I would be taking that $100 out of the drawer. And then you hit complete. And then you can run reports if you want to check the balance. The customer activity will show every sale that was done in that drawer. And the drawer figures detail report will show what Sunlink expects the totals to be. And now that that's done, the drawer is closed, and you can see the count drop button is now grayed out because there is no open drawer, and the next employee who does a sale on the register will open a new drawer, and that drawer would have started at that point, and then they will have that drawer to close at the end of their shift or whenever you want them to close it.